Hello and welcome to this week's weekly wrap up. I am excited to be here in a classroom as you can see, which is always the best place to be. And I am at Marion Oaks Elementary and I'm here with Ms. Ramos and Ms. Alves. And so excited to talk to both of them about apple paper scissors. So if you don't know what that is, that is what I describe as an ed camp something that they both know that I did um, when I came to Marion County is I wrote ed camps into our strategic plan because it's, a, it's an opportunity for professional learning from teachers for teachers, right? So nothing better than having teachers lead right. professional mm -hmm. learning so that teachers can, can get what they need. So would love to um, spend a few minutes with each of you talking about what I already know that you <laughs> learned about it, what you're sure. excited about, and you'll get to see some pictures about. So we'll start with you, Ms. Ramos. Okay. Thanks for being Excellent. here. Excellent. Well, my experience was really um, nice, grateful. And I learned a lot about uh, how to do the PowerPoint live and in the technology um, workshop and was awesome. I just, um, he provided to us the step by step and we take notes and we practice and was really helpful for me. And why do you think that's going to be helpful in your day-to-day -day, um, world in teaching our students? What do, you think, what do you think the takeaway is going to be from that? Well, we can do the classes through the PowerPoint and maybe do more interactive with the kids in another way. Right. Excellent. Excellent. I love that. Okay. Ms. Alves, what do you want to share? So one of my main takeaways from Apple Paper Scissors was just new strategies I can integrate into my classroom. One I was able to utilize this week, it was on distributive property. We had a math talk session. I was able to use some anchor charts. I know how beneficial they are, but overall it was just something I could implement right away. Uh, another main point was just technology that I could integrate as well. Um, and then it was just nice to know I'm not alone, that all teachers are going through the same thing that I'm going through. We all have the same questions. So it was almost like we have a community that we knew about, but now I got to see other ideas and collaborate with other teachers from other schools. Love that. And uh, when you referred this way, what they can't see and they'll oh, see yes. shortly is <laughs> when you walk in this room, and this is your classroom yes. that we're in with the students working really hard um, behind us, but those anchor charts are on your back wall. So mm -hmm. immediately you put that into action and we see that here being used in the classroom. But I, I love what you um, spoke about in terms of the network too, and feeling the connectedness with yeah. other teachers. Yeah, and you don't feel al uh, you know, alone, you feel like exactly. with everybody. We were able to exchange emails too and say, oh, I work at this school, I work at this school. And it was just really awesome. nice to know like, hey, yeah. there's other teachers out yeah. there. Love <laughs> that. The <laughs> with the right. same questions. Right, so that informal network of I can pick up the phone, I can talk to somebody yes. that I might not have met before and that's leading in the same way I'm leading and want to learn in that same way and so mm -hmm. I love that. So I, um, <laughs> any suggestions for the future? More. More. <laughs> more sessions, more, more, more people to come. Uh, okay. We even did some surveys yeah. at the end and they're like, Excellent. any suggestions you have? And we're like, oh great. It was yeah. immediate feedback that we gave them as well. And yes. so they're looking to implement that as well. Yeah. So I want to personally thank the Public Education Foundation because in a conversation with them about um, what this could look like in Marion County, they took the lead on this. So I really appreciate that they carved this out as one of their priorities and made it happen for all of you. So thank you to mm -hmm. thank you to the foundation for all you do for our, our teachers. Thank and you. Thank great you. to be with you guys today and all of you that are working so hard in this classroom. <laughs> and special thank you to the Marion County Public Schools professional leadership and learning team for helping put together this exciting ed camp for our teachers.